All right, just want to show you guys what I'm doing here. I'm doing a, we're starting to restore a 72 Thunderbird Shawnee. It's actually my first boat. It's actually a really nice boat. It has some work it has to get done. But as you can see, it came with a 70 Johnson VRO that I, I took apart. Well, I didn't take apart, I took it off the boat, but it's such an incredible engine. A lot of things was changed really fast when I was on the lake in uh, the bay before. But this is what I've been doing so far. I'm just trying to remodel it a little bit. I changed those two bucket seats that were those two um, folding seats. Well, those things were ugly. I don't know why they came up with those things. But I got somebody to replace the floor last year. He actually did a very, very good job. It wasn't that expensive. Okay, the only thing was that he built me some a bait well and a storage kind of compartment right here and here. Didn't like it much, so I just ripped it off right now. Just to let you know, easiest thing to rip off wood and fiberglass. It looks like I used my air hammer. It's fastest way to do it. Last week I, I removed this one over here, and boy, it took me a couple hours to do it without it. Um, just to let you know all the pieces that I have. That's all the stuff that was in there. Still see the wood was kind of good, but just didn't like it much. So, definitely want to do something different where I at least make it look nice. You know, took the windshields off, came with a whole bunch of brand new speakers, radio, CB, everything. Have new um, seats. Actually, the Transom looks like it's very good. I had some other people check it out for me. It looks like it was replaced before, so they did a good job. So I don't have to worry about that. This is the front. This is the bow. Has some spider cracks and stuff that I have to take care of. Looks like that's the guy I paid also to take care of some of that there. Well, I tell you, being on iBoats forum, I've learned so much. I think I could have done all this stuff by myself. So that's why I'm doing it now. You know. Just let you know, this is what I've done. I'm more into boats. I mean, to cars. You know, I've worked on this. I've Probably about seven years ago and never even touched it again. My wife, a couple months ago, it goes and uh, backs up into my car, and so I got now repair fiberglass bumper. Some other things I had to do. But um, the question I have for anybody out there is I'm trying to see if I can take this off the stand or off the trailer and put it on stands. I wanted to flip it over, but kind of worried. I'm not sure really that this is going to. If I try to flip it over with some buddies or something, I'm going to break the hole or something else. So I'm trying to see maybe I could put maybe like a big giant stand like that, put it up here in the front. Maybe put some other stands in the back so that way I could get under here. I've already done a lot of the sanding down there, but I can't paint it with the trailer there. So anybody out there to let me know how to do it the correct way, and I don't want to spend a lot of money. And, you know, my wife's already flipping now that I put money into this boat. But looks like there's some fiberglass a little while ago. Or like an hour ago, I gotta take care of this from the cap. But so far, everything's looking good. Hopefully, I can get it done in the next couple months. I'll talk to you.